All right, everyone. My name is Chris Bell, and I'm going to show you how to change font using HTML and CSS in a couple different ways. Open up a notepad. Uh, let's start with a couple paragraphs. Start paragraph, end paragraph. Start paragraph, end paragraph. Start paragraph, end paragraph. Let's move this over here. Save as, get it onto your desktop. Go to all files, this is important, and save it as an HTML file, font, color, dot HTML. Okay. This was here before. This is font color now. This is the one that I'm looking at right here. So I have these three paragraphs in here. Let's go with one font. Two font, three font. Let's just start with the basic style equals color red. Control save. Now we're going to take that icon from the desktop right here and pull it right in. And there you go. That one's red, the rest are black. So these two regular paragraphs right here are black. Now you can also enclose it in other things to use font. Let's start with the div and div. And we'll do both of these at the same time. So you mark these forward a little bit like that so you can tell that both of these paragraphs are inside this div and anything that we style inside this div is going to be um, affecting everything that's indented inside. So we can just do a uh, copy and paste right here of this. Control save. And they're both red. So the other thing that you can use instead of that is the hex color. And if you Google HTML hex color, it will show you that this is white. Um, you can get really into the details of each color and you click on the color of the hundred that are there and you end up with a grayish color right here. I know that all C's is also gray, so 808080. Let's try that. You put the number sign, 808080, and six digits every time. Come back here, refresh, and boom, it's gray. So there you go. Uh, that's another way to do it now. What you can also do is get rid of this completely. And honestly, I don't even recommend doing this, but this is an old thing that you could use to be able to do in HTML. So you start a font and you end a font around the text that you want changed. And then throw in a color with any color here, purple, any fairly normal color that you want. So that turns purple. So there's a couple different ways to do that. Now this div, if it was inside, oops. So now you have this paragraph that's labeled two different things. You have it labeled purple here and gray here. This is everything inside all here. So everything inside that div is being colored gray including this paragraph. However, when you get to this paragraph, it shows font purple. This supersedes it because it's in line. So if I add a style, even though it looks the same as the one in the div, and put color uh, green here, you're going to see that that supersedes. And the only thing that's going to end up being affected by the div is that. So this is horrible looking HTML doing it this way, but I'm just showing you to show you as an example that this is the only thing that ends up gray. This one's green because it is labeled right on the line. This one's labeled right on the line too. So if we made another div outside here, um, it would then, this one would supersede that one. So uh, then you would have a second end div down here too. So that's how it would work. And that's why a lot of times if you download a template, you'll notice that it kind of indents and then you'll see more and more paragraphs going down on the inside and then it comes all the way back out. That's why, because you can see the different tags along the way.